Hello folks, in this series of DevOps tools, today we are going to talk about the first step of the DevOps pipeline which is source code management which of course comes after design phase which cannot be automated. So we will be talking about source code management in general and Git as a tool which enables your source code management and automate the process. Now you understand that in DevOps there would be multiple stakeholders who will be collaborating in the same code base. For example, of course the programmers would be writing an application code and putting it into some centralized code base. There would be QA guys who will be writing test cases and they would be again putting it into the same code base. There could be IT operations guys who could be writing something like recipes or scripts to automate their infrastructure, again putting it into the same code base. Because ultimately DevOps is all about collaboration. Now a good source code management tool needs to be a good version control system. It should be robust. It should be stable. It should be most importantly easy to use. Now what is a good version control system and why do we need it? A good version control system enables you to track your files, compare changes over time, track who modified the code and when did they do it if there is an issue with the code then when was it introduced and who did it as a part of which feature once identified you can revert files back to their oldest version or old state you can even revert back the whole project to their old state changes and not only that you can easily recover from your lost files or your wrong codes. Now let's understand few words which I'll be using repeatedly. One thing is a repository. What is a repository? Repository is the common code base where all the code of developers, testers or IT operations guys is going. That code has to be maintained at some centralized location which will be calling repository. So, how Git is different from other version control system such as CVS, Perforce or SVL. First thing is, most of the other version control system works in a centralized manner. What do we mean by that? So your code base or your repository would be kept on a centralized server and for your developers to do any significant change, they always need to be connected to the central repository. So when developers copy the code from the repository to their own system, then only a part of the information comes to their system. Most of the information always resides on those centralized system. So in a centralized system, they cannot do a lot of things like they cannot see the history of the changes. They cannot commit any change. Uh, they cannot see the version history of your code. Git on the other hand works in a distributed manner. What it means is there could be a central repository but when a developer clones the code into their own local system all the information from the centralized repository comes to users own system and due to that all the significant activities they can do on their own system and they can push it when and where they get connected to the centralized system again. For example, developers can see the version history, uh, all the history of your particular file or project on their own system even if they are disconnected from the centralized code repository. Git is open source. What it means is you can just download the package from internet and start using it. Install the Git on your system and give access to all your collaborators. A lot of companies that use and give access to source of code management they use git in the backend. For example, you have github.com, you have gitlab, you have bitbucket from Atlassian, you have code commit from AWS. All these various services, they use git in the backend. Now, git works on SSH protocol and SCTP protocol. Since it works on SSH protocol, so you can host a git server in your organization at some server and all your stakeholders can connect to that centralized git server through SSH protocol. It also supports HTTP. What it means is then you can connect various tools, various DevOps tools through HTTP based APIs. 
you can host git server on a web server and let others connect through http based apis git also has a feature called webhook using webhook you can connect git to any other continuous integration tool such as jenkins and bamboo so whenever there is a change on code base it can inform your ci tools that something has changed and made them aware based on that event the ci and cd tools can come up into the action and face the new code base so after listening all of this you still doubt the capability of git take this git was created by none other than linus torvalds the person who was responsible for creating linux git was used for managing the code base of linux so if it is enough motivation in the next class we will be covering installation and setup of git till then enjoy